So coming at you with another color grading tutorial today and exactly how I took this shot from this to this. So go ahead and stick around and let me show you how I did it. All right, so in obviously DaVinci Resolve 18, let's get this going. So I uh, chose this clip today uh, specifically because um, it's inside. Um, there's usually classic like a yellow kind of tint to these indoor um, getting ready rooms for, for the bride. But uh, I just love this shot with the veil and there was this, this skylight up above where just kind of this harsh light was coming through. Um, and I figured this would just be a good clip to, uh, to show you how, how I grade today. So, um, as far as the, the node structure, um, again, I'm not going to be actually using color space, uh, transform or CST for this. Uh, I'm just going to be grading right in, uh, da Vinci wide gamut. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll go in here really quick. Uh, we'll just go into the project settings gear icon in the corner, go into color management, click on da Vinci YRGB. And then our timeline color space is going to be da Vinci wide gamut. And then output is going to be the tried and true rec 709 gamma 2.4 hit save. And we're good to go. Um, the reason why you want to do DaVinci wide gamma is, I mean, in simple terms, it's just a much wider color space. So especially, especially when you're working on a, um, panel like I am here, which is the, um, the micro panel, if you don't have it highly recommend shameless plug, it's not even sponsored, but freaking love this thing. Um, this, the tools behave a lot better on the panel than working in, um, a rec 709 format. So let's go ahead and get into it here. So. Um, we have our power grade applied. So first note is going to be noise reduction. Second note is going to be our primaries. Third, any sort of adjustments that we're going to make within the image. Uh, fourth node is our HSL or our hue, saturation, and luminance. Our fifth node is going to be the look. We'll apply a little bit of sharpening at the end and then, of course, see if we like any of the glow. All right. So um, let's start off here in our primaries. And because this is a power grade, I'm just going to tell you what has been applied already so far, just a boost in saturation, our contrast, um, and just a little bit of mid-tone detail, which I'm actually going to bring um, back up a little bit. Uh, that was a little bit too extreme. So those are the only things that we've changed so far, but let's dive into this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my pivot down here and I'm going to raise it up a little bit. So essentially all I'm doing is just kind of controlling where um, the contrast is going to be. And let's also bring up our waveforms here in the corner. That probably helps so you can see what's going on. Um, so we're going to lift this up a little bit and I'm going to, I'm looking at the image overall and it still looks a little flat. So what I want to do is I actually want to increase the contrast a little bit, probably bring it about 1.5. I found that is generally the sweet spot, at least for B-Raw. Um, or a good starting pl place for the contrast. And then we're gonna bring the pivot up a little bit and I think that's great. Now, within the primaries, now what I'm going to do is lift gamma gain. So we're gonna bring, I'm not gonna touch the gain at all. I'm just gonna bring the lift down a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring the gain up, lift down. It's gonna be a dance. And as you can see, we're starting to get just a little bit more pop um, into the image, right? So I think we're going to park it right about there. I think that's a, that's a good spot. And let's just show you here just before and after this is literally just within the primaries in a couple steps. So pretty awesome. We're going to move. I like where it's at right here for now. Um, we might go back to the primaries here in a second, but let's move on to our adjustment node. And within the adjustment panel, I'm going to go down to uh, the camera raw settings since we shot this in B-Raw. I'm going to go over to the clip and I'm going to bring the color temperature down because obviously it is uh, really yellow. So let's bring that probably right around. Mm, let's see, probably right around there. And again, you always want to adjust the temperature in the camera raw panel because that's going to give you the cleanest results. That's the whole reason why I shoot in raw. The information's already there in the file. So to not inter introduce any more like artificial noise, you want to adjust it in the camera raw panel. So uh, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit more. And you can see here, this is like, this is really cleaning this up. Um, 
as far as like that yellow kind of haze originally we had in the um, uh, the image. So this is looking great. Now what I'm going to do is to give this just a little bit more pop. Another really good technique that you can see here is in the curve. So I'm gonna go down here and select editable split lines. I'm gonna click on, um, oh, sorry, I deselected it, oops. <laughs> I'm gonna click on this top point right here. And then I'm just gonna raise the highlights up a little bit. And then I'm gonna click down at our bottom point right here and I'm gonna bring this down a little bit, okay? And as you can see, what's nice about this technique is you get a very gradual lift in the image. So there's no, and you can see it kind of naturally just grabbed a little bit more pop um, to the image. So this is a really good technique, potentially without using the wheels to get just a little bit further as far as that contrast in a very subtle, um, soft way, which is generally what you want for wedding work. You don't really want anything like too, um, too harsh. So this is already in a really good spot. Let's go over to the HSL. And this is one thing that I really wanted to highlight with this clip specifically is in the indoor shots, a lot of times that gunk or that like color that you really can't get out is in the yellows. And so what we want to do is we want to go to our curves panel and we want to select our hue versus saturation. So we're, we're essentially affecting the saturation of the colors. And I'm going to select my yellow and I'm going to bring the saturation down. And as you can see, it's the, the, it's bringing out definitely her skin, but it's also helping clean up the, the whites over here. So if I just do a before and after, um, you see how kind of the white naturally gets a lot more crisp. Now, what we can do to bring kind of the life back into her skin is just subtly boost um, the reds back up. Nothing too extreme, um, but this is a really good way of doing it. Now, of course, you could get much cleaner results if you did power windows and that sort of thing, but with my workflow, this works really well. Um, you know, I mean, this is, if it was like a, you know, more expensive like commercial shoot or something like that, then yeah, we might be pulling power windows and keys and that sort of thing. But global adjustments, in my opinion, or at least for my work, I think works really well in this case where you can get a really clean result quickly, right? So I think this is a really good spot so far right here. And then we're gonna move into our look node. And this is where it really helps to get those crisp whites. So I'm gonna go to our gain and I'm gonna push this down more towards the um, magenta to really help bring out her skin a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna experiment here. So let's let's lift the gamma up towards the oranges. And let's see where we're at here. I'm liking what I'm getting so far. And then let's go to the lift and let's bring this also down towards the the white so we just get this really clean look and i'm also going to put up our rg values here and this is pretty much spot on you can see in the scopes everything is looking really good let's go into our waveform reds are a little bit higher mainly probably because they're her um, um her skin here but other than that i'm really liking what we're getting here and the look node you can see so before we kind of had kind of lost the color here there's a little bit of this kind of green uh, tint here on the skin and then you can see here um, with the look very subtle but it, it did a really nice job of cleaning everything up we have our sharpening here and then let's apply our glow which i think i like on this image hmm i i think i like it i don't know um here, th this would be a good example. So the thing is, I like it how it provides a little bit more pop, but in this case, let's do this. So we apply the glow. It, it kind of illuminates the image a little bit better, gives it kind of this um, more dreamy feel. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is I kind of lost a little bit of contrast in this, right? So let's go back up to the primaries. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back down um, to our lift and our gamma, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit more pop again to this image um, because we lost it a little bit with the glow. And I think that's in a really good spot. So 
here is our final image, y'all. So let's go ahead and put on the noise reduction and let's go full screen. And we have before and after. And what we can do as well is I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this here really quick and just to kind of see the, the shot in motion. Yeah, so uh, hopefully uh, enjoyed all this, tutor uh, this tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and put a video up to another video that I think you might like up on the screen. And until the next one, Murphy out.